Are you looking for a great Christmas gift or something you can sew to sell? How about Opal's Oven Mitt? I'm really excited about this one because as you guys know, I did set my oven mitts on fire a few weeks ago. So the pattern is from the Quilted Cow. It does come with a template, which you have to cut out and then tape together so that you have the template. It comes with all the fabric that you need in the kit. And I will just tell you that you're going to need a half a yard of main in the fabric and two thirds yard of the trim and lining fabric. Once you get everything out and trim off your um, selvage edge, you're going to lay your main fabric face down. Then you're going to lay your insel bright on top of it, shiny side up. And I basted this and put those together already. I'm gonna lay this interior fabric or the trim fabric pretty side up and you're going to baste it on and then we're going to quilt this using our walking fit. You're going to quilt this whole piece. Okay, so the pattern, which is accurate, told me to quilt this whole piece. And I put my fabric started slipping and I've not used my walking foot that much, like today's my first day. So what I did was I just cut out, using the template, I cut out one glove going this way and one glove going this way on the non-quilted half of my fabric. And then I went ahead and quilted those because it was a little bit easier for me on my first time. Um, if you are doing this, I would recommend not doing what I was trying to do. I was just quilting, quilting, quilting. Um, do a large quilt pattern. So maybe a two inch by two inch um, block diagonals. I'll show you, it's what I did. Now I'm going to go quilt these. I'm not gonna lie, my quilting is ugly on this, but I'm gonna take the two halves that I've done and I'm going to sew them together to make one. Now, I'll have to use some of the uh, leftover fabric, which is on the instructions to do a binding around the end, which I might try myself or I might call and have my mom do. Okay, so I still have to add the binding. I just want to show you, had I done this, it would not have been so overwhelming. But I thought I should do this, and it was very overwhelming. So when you're quilting that big piece of fabric, quilt it like this. Like, I used my ruler and I went about every two inches. I, when I was doing it before, I thought I'd just line the foot up. Don't do that, that's not fun. But after you sew them together, you flip it inside out, it is a super cute little thing. I still have to do the binding on the end, but it is super cute. Have fun with that.